VPA Playdowns continue tonight, and it's the quarterfinal round for the remaining girls' basketball teams. CVU is on a ridiculous 21 game win streak, so we'll start with the Red Hawks as they look to add to that total. Champlain Valley is the one seed in D1, hosting the eight seed Mount Anthony in Hinesburg. Five minutes left here in the first quarter. Mount Anthony's Grace Mahar pops in a long jumper to make it 5 2 Patriots, but that lead was short lived. Second quarter, CVU leads 14 8. Bray Hunter fights her way to the hoop and elevates for the lay in. And CVU just keeps going from there. Just before halftime, senior Harper Mead fires in a three-pointer to put the Red Hawks ahead 25-8. Then late in the third quarter, CVU's Julia Blanc flies in for the transition bucket. And with that, Champlain Valley leads by 21. CVU doesn't look back, taking down Mount Anthony 67-26. Let's hop over to BFA. The Comets are 16 and 5, hosting North Country, who's 15 and 6. And these two were pretty even all night, just like the records. Second quarter, it's 11-10 BFA. Leah Larravee flings a pass to Mackenzie Moore. She unloads from deep, and the Comets pull away with five minutes to halftime. Third quarter, the Falcons stay right in it, trailing 24-17. McKenna Marsh drives for a pull-up bucket off the glass. Next possession, Marsh is off the mark, but Grace Garreau corrals the rebound and punches in the 15-footer. Falcons down by only three. But later on, Caitlin DeSaro works her magic on the drive and finishes underhand, maintaining the lead as BFA holds on to win in overtime, 53-40. And now we go to the number two seed in Division I. St. Johnsbury is on the hunt for a second straight state title. They host 10th seeded Brattleboro. Second quarter, the Hilltoppers are cruising. Sadie Stetson finds Neva Bostic in the corner. She drills the triple and St. Jay goes up 35 to six. Third quarter now, Haley DeRosia feeds one to Lauren Sargent underneath. The strong finish gets the Colonels to double digits, but it's still 44-11 St. Johnsbury. Hilltoppers are just too much to handle. That's Lara Rokal finishing through contact as St. Jay punches its ticket to the final four, winning 68-26. They'll face BFA next week.